Hi guys, well today I'm not in the middle of the woods trying to shoot like three or four videos uh, before uh, my appointment I have for uh, shooting Vikings, um, you know, uh, reenactment training. So um, I only found that place here uh, near a river um, and well there are people walking around so I, I try to keep a low profile but as I'm finishing um, the meal I've prepared on the first video, I'm trying. I'm gonna make um, a coffee. So I didn't use for like years um, freeze-dried coffee powder for um, for my outings, and then I just remembered that my grandfather, when I was walking in the Alps with him, did make something that is pretty much a cowboy coffee, what you say is a cowboy coffee, uh, except that over the tree line you don't, you can't find a stick or something like that, but I've never been told to use uh, a stick to break the surface tension, so here uh, I'm, I've already prepared on my cup, um, 250 milliliters of water. Excuse me. Just getting that spoon ready to roll. This is the good thing by being with outdoor cloth. If you don't really, because you don't have really to care. So for my mix, you pour the water until here. It's pretty easy to do that. I know. But I like my coffee pretty strong, not too strong, but two for uh, 250 milliliters, two sporks or a tablespoon of coffee, pretty full ones will do. I use uh, here the coffee I've chosen for my mix is uh, really finely ground. Um, it's better to use um, bigger chunks but this works just pretty well so I'm gonna do that that way today and <clears throat> next thing you want to do is just keep your get your water to a boiling roll a rolling boil excuse me and then you just wait when you get that rolling boil the next step is, uh, if you are around the fire, I'm not making a fire, I don't have time today, but if you are around the fire in the woods and have a piece of clean stick you can use, uh, you can throw that into uh, the rolling water just to break the, water, the surface tension. If you don't have that, what I do is use my spoon and, you know, just mix a bit. Then you keep the rolling boil for about what I do is about two minutes and after that there's the trick my grandfather showed me um, to make that you have to use a billy can or a handled uh, pot like so because you won't be able to do that uh, technique that way if you don't have that but you know um, if you make a cowboy coffee you'll probably have you know a coffee pot with um, I mean a coffee tin, the hobo billy can with some wire or stuff like that and it will work just as well. So see you in a second, second guys. Okay the usual problem you may find is that the coffee will go out of the pot when it's getting, um, when it's having that rolling boil. So you want to put it aside and put it back on to be sure um, you do not spill any coffee. And then I'm gonna try to show you that. Just need some room to do that. So manual focus is great. Here, now all you have to do uh, is you want to 
get the coffee back down in the bottom of your um, billy can. So what my grandfather showed me, still a bit hot in here. Gonna do <clears throat> like that. Okay, so you take your pot and what you do is just excuse me getting really hot. Uh, you just make a windmill like so. He did told me you make it three times and then let it sit without you know shaking it too much and then three times again and you wait and then another three times if I remember how to count and with the centrifuge the force uh, I'm not much into physics but with the force the weight of the grain uh, increases so it goes back to the bottom of your cup and now here this may be the kind of uh, tricky part is without spilling it and without uh, having it to shake too much you put your coffee simply inside and when you see what's in the bottom of uh, the, uh, the pot you stop so that you don't have too much coffee powder in the bottom of your uh, pot and this is pretty much uh, way better than the coffee is the dehydrated coffee powders I use usually use when I'm in the woods and I'm really happy I've um, I've tested and done that technique again because it's a better test tasting coffee and you just have to try and see what works what does not for you I like usually uh, ristretto coffee so they are small pretty strong so this is perfect for me and with the evaporation and what you've lost you have um, about 1.5 deciliters of coffee which is pretty good for uh, your outdoors coffee so now you just have to wash your butt and enjoy your coffee guys see you soon cheers